Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome to our brand new video on Python GUI automation. Now what is GUI automation, you might ask? Almost any task that you perform with a keyboard and a mouse can be done with Python. Whether that is moving your mouse across the screen, whether it's clicking down on a window, whether it is entering some text, or whether it's hitting the enter button, all of these functions that I just performed can be done with Python. The module that we'll be using today is going to be Pi Auto GUI. And by using this module, we'll be able to click enter in text, use our keyboard function keys, the whole bonanza with Python Auto GUI. Let's get started. Now, the first thing that you guys need to have is Python Auto GUI install. What that means is going into your terminal and then saying pip install Python Auto GUI, or I'm sorry, Pi Auto GUI for short. Okay, so pip install Pi Auto GUI again in your terminal. If you don't have pip installed, check your Python version because in the latest versions of Python, pip comes installed. Go ahead and hit enter, and that should install it for you if you're on Windows. However, if you're on a Mac device, there are a couple of other packages that you have to install. That being said, you have to go ahead and say pip install, and then I believe it's called pi object, pi objc, objc, pi object. Okay, so pip install pi object. Go ahead and install that. And then you're gonna go ahead and say pip install pi object core. Again, if you're a Mac user, make sure you go ahead and do this. This is very essential. Pip install pi object dash core. Go ahead and hit enter. There we go. And now we can go ahead and say pip install and then pi auto GUI. Fantastic. Now, in case you guys don't have pip installed and you're unsure of what to do at this stage, if you are using PyCharm, guys, PyCharm has an amazing feature. If you go into PyCharm preferences, and then over here in your project interpreter, you can go ahead and specify what packages you want. So I have pi auto GUI right over there, but I can go ahead and add and I can find the object one. So pi object, here's my pi object, here's my pi object core. You can go ahead and install them here. You just go down to the menu. You can't really see it, but if you click install package, you can go ahead and install it. And then also similarly, if you search pi auto GUI, you can go ahead and install it over here. So you can install it through pip, you can install through the um, PyCharm interpreter. It doesn't really matter, but at the end of the day, if you go to your Python console and over here say import pi auto GUI, and if it works, that means that pi auto GUI has been successfully installed. So make sure that works guys, and if you've gotten this far, fantastic. If not, just do a quick Google search, search Stack Overflow, and hopefully you guys will get pi auto GUI working. Anyways, fantastic. So our goal for today is very, very simple. We're gonna run a Python script that goes to our Google Chrome, selects this search field, enters in hello world, okay, exclamation mark, and then hits the enter key, all right? So we're performing four commands. I'm gonna show you how this works and then we'll go ahead and learn one last final feature of Pi Auto GUI. Let's get started. So first thing first, the way Pi Auto GUI works is I need to figure out how to move my mouse to this position. I wanna first get my mouse cursor to the search bar. The way we can do this is by using our position function of pi auto GUI. So go ahead in your test.py or whatever pi file you have, import pi auto GUI. Fantastic. Once we have pi auto GUI imported, we're gonna go ahead and call pi auto GUI dot position. And what the position function does is it returns the position of our mouse. So let's go ahead and move our mouse to this position right over here. I'm gonna move my mouse right there. And then I'm gonna hit Control Shift R. That goes ahead and runs my Python code. I run my code and nothing happens because I did not print out my position. My bad guys. Go ahead and print it out, run your code again. And I didn't move my mouse to the correct position. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here again. Control Shift R. And then I get 280 comma 74. So I now know that the position of this box over here, or at least part of this box is 280 comma 74. Awesome. So you use the position function of pi auto GUI to figure out the position of your cursor. This entire window that we have, this entire screen has a bunch of pixels. Every pixel has a specific position. The top left of your screen is zero comma zero. And then the bottom left or bottom right of your screen is basically however wide and however tall your screen is, all right? That being said, we now know that the position of our text box is going to be this. Let's store that for future references. The next step is to get a click. 
So we want to move our mouse over to that position and click down on that search bar. The way we can do that is by going ahead and saying this, pi auto GUI dot click. And then if you notice over here, click has two parameters, X comma Y. You can also specify the number of clicks, the intervals between the clicks, etc. We're just going to worry about the first two parameters, X comma Y. The X value is going to be 280, the one we just found out. Our Y value is going to be the 74, the one we just found out as well. Go ahead and hit 280 comma 74. Awesome. So now we can go ahead and if we run this program, Command S and Control Shift R, we're going to see that immediately the PyCharm browser goes away and we're clicking on this search bar. Great. The next thing we have to do is fill that search bar with text. Okay. And this is something really cool about PyAutoGui. They have something called TypeWrite. And TypeWrite basically um, simulates if a human was typing on their keyboard. So we can go ahead and say PyAutoGui.TypeWrite. And then whatever you want to fill this search field with, we just have to write it out over here. I'm going to go ahead and say hello world exclamation mark. Hit save. Let's run this. And immediately hello world exclamation mark. So we clicked on the bar. We entered in some text. The last thing is to go ahead and run our command. We want to go ahead and say enter, right? We want the enter function to be pressed. Well, just like typewrite allows text, typewrite also allows the clicking of buttons. So up, down, left, right arrow keys, your shift, your enter, your control, your command, all of these keys can be selected through typewrite. So once we have hello world there, we're going to go ahead and say pi auto GUI dot typewrite. And then inside of typewrite to specify that this is a specific command of the keyboard, we're going to put it in square brackets. So go ahead and say enter Python auto GUI dot typewrite and then in square brackets, quotation marks, enter. And what this does is typewrite will take this to assume the enter key and not just the text of enter. Go ahead and hit save, control shift R. And now if you take a look, hello world, enter, bam. So that was a very, very simple Python automation script. Now the power of Python automation is endless. You could use scripts to fill out online forms to run something multiple times. You can also use the commands on your keyboard. For example, let's say that I want to copy the text or copy any text, right? How would I end up doing that? One of the ways you can go ahead and do this is let's say I want to copy this URL over here. I'm going to go ahead and unhighlight these two. I'm clicking on the URL and I know that when I click on the URL that happens, right? I want to copy this. So when you try to combine two or more keys together in Pi Auto GUI, there's something called a hotkey. So what you can go ahead and do is say Pi Auto GUI dot hotkey. And then inside of hotkey, you can specify what are the different args that you want to pass in. For me, I'm going to be passing in command and I'm passing in C. So I know for a Mac, command C will copy that text, right? However, for Windows, it's probably going to be control C. So make sure you know what OS you're using. Command C for Macs, control C for Windows. Change the command to control if you're on Windows. Go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and run it. And there we go. It's been copied. And now if I open up a new tab and hit command V, my code is pasted. This URL is pasted. So just in case that didn't make sense, guys, the hotkey is used to link various keys together. For example, if I want to get my, this bar, the spotlight search to appear on my Mac, I can go ahead and say pi auto GUI dot hotkey and then command comma space. All right, go ahead and save that. Control shift R. That's going to copy spotlight search appears. Fantastic. So that was a very quick rundown of Pi Auto GUI guys. It's a very fun tool to use. There's a lot of possibilities with it. Maybe you're into video gaming. You could write your own Python automation to play that video game for you. Maybe it's Tetris. You could analyze the blocks in Tetris and use the left, right arrow keys to do the moves in Tetris. The possibilities are endless, endless guys. Pi Auto GUI is an amazing module. Play around with it. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.